any good theater, a the theatrical presentation begins with the curtain opening. programming language is not really designed to be a graphics engine, but it does have some elementary capabilities, as you saw in the beginning with the zone map. My desire with this patch was to free myself from the tyranny of the 4 by 2 grid within which all actions have to occur if you're going to stay within the patching language of the lightning. What I have here is the ability, now this is really complicated since I've inverted the, did I invert or did I not? Is that making sense to you? It doesn't look like it, right? It's, it, it's working the opposite way. Let me uh, invert and see if that does. Is that better? Okay, now I'm really confused. <laughs> so I can drag out, that is a trip. I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can drag out the, uh, well the whole purpose of this actually was not to look at the screen but to make the demo compelling i got to know what I'm doing, um, and I'm not hearing any sound, which doesn't make me, excuse me, look at the big screen, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I get a note on entry into a zone and on exit from the zone, and there's a chase tone that's going to get louder as I get closer to the center, the farther away. This is a hot patch. Let me turn the volume down a bit. Hot in a number of ways, I think. And I have individual control over the two mallets. And I can draw multiple zones. And the zones can overlap. And when they overlap, interesting things can happen, especially if I can play it. Now I like to play this mode with the entry and ed exit tones off. So my idea
idea by doing this is one could imagine different shaped zones, circles, rectangles. You could imagine having an oral visual, an audio visual paint program where you could be dipping into a bucket and assigning pitches or timbres to these areas. You could envision collaborating with a performer and a graphic designer or someone at another terminal who is crafting these spaces as you're playing them, perhaps collegi collegially or perhaps not so. You could imagine that this is occurring over a distance and this is the kind of interactive musical jam I envision happening based over the network that gets us around this problem of the speed of light and that you can't play with your snare drummer in Tokyo and your keyboard player in Boston and your bass player in California. It just doesn't work that way. However, if I'm sitting here playing these zones and somebody in the house next door or in the office up the street or the cyber cafe in Boston is listening to my sound and getting a video feed and can be designing these shapes and changing them at a slower rate of change, we don't have this, this hard real-time constraint and I think you can build some very convincing and compelling interactive musical and visual environments. And this is really where I want to take this work over the next year, working with visual artists, sound designers, uh, heftier graphics engines than what I can do inside of Macs, building hybrid systems, and trying to work on these kinds of interactive multimedia experiences that are musical and, and also visual at the same time.